Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. I'm out here checking on the weed control progress on my buffalo grass planting and it appears to be doing its job really well. You could see the yellow foxtail dying back there. Now it's time to return my focus to the tiny house and before I can do that I need to do some reorganizing and cleaning in the staging area. And this right here is the staging area. This is where I keep everything dry that I'm using on a project or is about to go into a project or is used on like the day-to-day -day projects like a lot of the lawn care stuff. Everything has gotten a little messy here and a little unorganized. We had rain overnight so I had a bunch of stuff in the back of the gator that I was going to be using on the tiny house and all of that had to come in here. I need to get this place cleaned up and very well organized because I'm going to need to get lumber in here soon for the back part of the tiny house. So this is today's project and it's a perfect project for the weather because it's going to be over a hundred today. So I have a couple different categories of staging here. This stuff is for work on the tiny house. It took forever to go and gather all this stuff up when we were working on the different parts of that. So what we have here is drywall stuff. I had the electrical stuff right here, but like I said, that was in the back of the gator and it rained overnight. You could see all the electrical stuff here. We have the doorbell, the light, a bunch of electric, doorbell camera. So that has to go back in staging. I'm not doing the electrical right now. So I need to find places for that. And then we have staging of reviews and projects other projects besides this like this I have to do a review on I'm gonna do a how-to on how to install these door stoppers on the door tracks there so this area right here is going to be for the staging of all that stuff I got quite a bit there's still stuff inside the wood shop and there's stuff scattered on the shelves and stuff so this will be for reviews and upcoming projects and I have yet to figure out exactly where this stuff's going to go. The different tools and stuff for the different projects on the tiny house. When I'm done with this stuff, this is all getting put away over in the machine shed. So it just needs to be out of the way and easily accessible. And this is another thing I need to stage. This is our brand new dryer. We got a brand new washer and dryer, but the dryer needs to have its conversion kit put in it. So at some time, I need to get that conversion kit put in it. But it's not a big rush because our existing dryer is working fine. The washer is what puked out on us. So I need to get this somewhere as well where it's going to be out of the way. But again, I'm going to need access to it when it's time to do that conversion and go install this in the house. Yeah, lots of stuff to do. Oh, and there's one more thing. Right here, we have a 48 by 18 by 72 inch rolling shelf. Just like that one, little different size. And what that's going to be for is all of the chemicals, all the liquid stuff which is going to remove a lot of stuff from this shelf. All the stuff that can't freeze is going to go on that shelf. And the shelf itself is going to be somewhere in here. And then once it gets below freezing out, I'll just roll it into the shop. We've had big problems with stuff freezing and being ruined in the past. You got to go around and grab all the freezables and bring them in the house. 
this will make it easy to just roll the cart in there and a lot of times it's only freezing for one day and then you have another month where it's not freezing so it can be rolled back out again and used if needed so fairly big task on a really really hot day but we should be able to get it done so i think it'll make life a lot easier if i start with this dryer what i'm going to do is clear this area out and move the dryer over to right about here and flush with the door opening i need to leave this drywall here because that's going to be used in the tiny house so yeah <laughs> look at the curve on that thing so we'll get it right here i found two other projects little projects when i was cleaning off the top of the dryer if you remember when i put in this spigot right here i was going to put in two spigots that day and i didn't have the right stuff for the other one this is the right stuff for the other one so that's another project and i got to go get this set up somewhere over in the south or yeah south pasture and that's another project so i'm gonna have to organize this so i can see all this stuff and not put stuff on top of it that way i can look at a glance and say well that's a, a half hour project i can get to that today all right back to it when i get back to work on this place this entire wall is going to be covered so i'll be able to put shelves and hang stuff and then there's going to be another wall that's going to be a room over there there's going to be another wall going across there and that room is going to be eight feet tall so there's going to be a ladder going up and there's going to be storage space on top of the room as well there's going to be plenty of space out here to store stuff but we just got to get back on this project before that's going to happen but until that time these trimmers are really hard to store. I want to store them with like two hooks coming off the wall. I'm sure they make brackets for that, but I don't have those brackets and these really have to get out of the way. They don't like to be stored like they are. You can see all this oil. That is from this trimmer here. So what I'm going to do is put these outside. I'm going to Menards tomorrow and see if they have any of them hooks. If they do, all I'm going to do is put a board going across on a couple of these studs here and put the hooks on that and get those up nice and high. All I need to do is grab them by the stem so I can put them up way near the top there. But like I said, for now, let's just get these out of here. That is a lot better. Starting to have a little room to work in here. Let me show you this real quick. This is the larger of the DeWalt trimmers. It's the 60 volt flex trimmer. I'm going to be reviewing that in like a stress test. I'll be cutting the majority of the day, but I can't do that in this weather. It's going to be three more days of this heat. And then when it cools down, really cool review with this DeWalt trimmer. Okay, so next I need to get this shelf right where this shelf is. I'm going to have to get at both sides of this shelf on a daily basis. And like I said, this one is going to be for staging projects. And I won't need to get at both sides of it very often. So that can go up against the wall or somewhere else. So let's get these switched around. I'll have to do a little bit of cleanup to do that. And once we get that done, I think we'll have enough room and we can set up the freezable shelf.
okay that is so much better and a lot of this stuff is going to come off of this shelf so i'll be able to put other stuff that actually belongs there on it okay now for this this is a rocker panel for the truck which is another future project but i'm not going to be able to get to that for at least a month or so and it's not going to fit on this little staging shelf so what i think i'll do is put it back in the corner over there yeah this big bulky stuff i don't know if i should keep it out here or not i could probably just put it on the top shelf up there it doesn't weigh all that much all right let's keep at this and i'll get back with you in a little bit Well, I got a little ahead of myself and started filling the shelf, but it's starting to look really nice. This stuff was all over the place. This redneck drip irrigation stuff was all down on the bottom here, and these were on the floor because they wouldn't fit on this shelf. This is for bigger gardening stuff, not for all these little bottles and stuff. This is a lot better shelf for that because it's not as deep and it's dedicated to all of this liquid stuff. And like I said, in the winter, I'm just going to roll this into the shop where it's heated and won't have to worry about it freezing. This stuff was all in a box. I got this from Petra Tools. They're the ones, where is that? Oh, it's in the other room. My three gallon electric sprayer. I reviewed that and they sent this stuff as well. I've already used the liquid iron and I'm going to be doing a video on this Supermax mulch glue in probably two or three days. Oh, actually, this should go on the staging shelf. And looks like I can fit this on the bottom shelf we have a weather station on this shelf yeah that fits perfect all right this stuff is all ready to do videos on and this stuff is all ready to do work with yeah i'm not exactly sure where i'm going to put that i want to be able to pull 
both the lawnmower and the gator back in here at some point, but for the rest of the summer, I'm going to need to use this area right here, at least for a while, for materials for the tiny house. You don't want that treated lumber sitting out in the sun, because it'll just curl up like a banana. All right, I think I can get both of these 50 to 1 gas on that tray on this shelf. And yeah, this can be tightened up big time. I'll sweep back here, move stuff back, clean off that chair. We are almost done. Ah. Got that shelf done just in time. Got another bottle of my indicator dye. We'll get that on there in just a second, but we are almost done. Just a little bit here, a little bit there, and I'll be able to get out of here. It is insanely hot. It's a little bit over 100 right now with the heat index, and this humidity is just insane. So, I really got to get this wrapped up. All right, I will get back with you in just a second. And that'll wrap it up. Everything is nice and tidy. I can see everything that I have. I should be able to find everything real nice and easy. Got all my projects, my staged projects here. All of these will be coming up in video shortly. And my summer tools and supplies are and my summer tools and supplies are all right here. And like I said, this stuff is staged for the tiny house. And well, this is staged for the tiny house as well. And this is going into the main house as soon as we can get it in there. Yeah, that is really nice. I'll get that. I'll get that board attached to this a little bit later, probably tomorrow, and we'll get the trimmers up there. We'll see what kind of hooks they have. I might put something else. I might put something else up there as well, but I don't want to get too much temporary stuff on here because I'm going to be covering this wall in probably three months or so. Yeah, lots of projects going on here. So, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a review of the Supermax Glue Mulch from Petra Tools. So, if you want to see that, or the Tiny House stuff, or any of the other stuff going on here, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And, if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.